morning, guys. Good morning. Is it hot? Cold. Hot, hot, hot. Huh? Good morning, guys. It's the next day, the following day. It is half past seven in the morning. And uh, we get ready to do a couple of excursions today and no chilling this happened i forgot to check the schedule but i think we'll survive i didn't even iron my clothes but what we're doing now is like i said chipping you really don't need iron clothes but yeah Oh, I just fought it. So, yeah, I'm gonna take a shower now, get ready, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, um, I'm done with my makeup as you can see. I uh, it's like half past eight in the morning right now. So we are going to go and visit a hippo called Jessica. I'm gonna spend some time with Jessica today. And then I think around about 11 or 12 or 1-ish, around about there, we're going to go for a boat cruise. So um, join us today as we enjoy, have fun and unwind. And yeah, let me show you fit check of the day or of the morning because I'm going to come back and change. But let me just show you what I'm wearing. Trip check. I'm wearing this two-piece biker shorts with my running sneakers. Um, I'm wearing all black as you can see this set I think I bought it in Pumalanga it is very cute and very comfortable I honestly just want it to be very comfortable today so here are the sneakers guys they are so comfortable the biker shorts and an oversized t-shirt so let's go and enjoy Closely interact with Jessica 
I think we're also gonna feed her and we're gonna be so close knit to her. Um, I'm one person I'm very much afraid of animals, but um, I'm a very hmm, I'm an open book, so I am open to the experience and I can't wait to interact with the baby hippo. I don't know how old she is, but um, yeah, we'll wait to hear and listen to much more info regarding Jessica the hippo. So right now we're just gonna enjoy the view. I think these people have not yet opened. They said they open at nine. I don't know what time it is, but yeah, what time is it? Like? It's the nine. Yeah. Twenty plus nine. So yeah, I think we're just a little bit slow today. So I'm just gonna enjoy the view and sit and wait until we get um, service. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where we're going tomorrow. Yeah. Chukudu. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is Sian. Can you believe this? baby is what is he doing there he's taking a dam that is very interesting why does it splash all over <laughs> what do they do oh no they just oh they leave it okay Hmm? <laughs> Are they siblings? Oh good, that was good. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 So Jessica is 22 years of age, by the way. Uh, 12 years ago, 12, 12 years, 8 months. Because the presenter here is saying, Jessica, she is 10 years old, weighs 1,000 kilos, but was only 600. They could years at 10 months, 1,000. Oh my god. The big five, I make a mistake. One of the big five, we have there is the baby buffalo. He said, What's the buffalo? He goes straight down. I made a mistake again. The third year was important. He said that because she's 10 years old, she should have a baby by the end of that year. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Mm. Female hippo are ready to become pregnant by the size and by the age. They need to be a certain size. The male, they come to them up to, up to four tons, 4,000 kilos. Mm. And she has not, not had a baby yet. When she becomes pregnant, the pregnancy is only uh, eight months. Very similar to people. Mm. I think maybe this year it will happen. Mm -hmm. And just watch the media on our website, jessicaper.com. Okay. From middle of February, we're going to have cameras here from a company from Jogo. Oh, okay. Uh, They're doing the a documentary. So we're going to have live streaming. Oh, wow. So, wherever you live in the world, with millions and millions of people following you mm. all over the world. And they want you to follow a line for what's happening. Who is there? Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek. Yeah. And? Oprah Winfrey. Wow. Do you recall when? Rob Lowe and his family. Wow. And many, many, many others. Uh huh. Many, many others. Wow. Yeah, South Africa. She played, I think, many programs. 
Was but based on Jessica. Yeah. Oh, awesome! <laughs> wow, she's so and famous. Then, uh, last but I say, if I can, the most people in Africa. Mm. That's not too, uh, but far, far not. Mm. I'll give you many examples. Uh, in my 45 years of game raising in Zambia, the Bobby Kruger Park, there are five people that have been killed. Say 45 years, hundreds by elephants, hundreds, hundreds by lions. Zambia mm. and the Bobby, I don't shoot all of the uh, animals. Mm. I do not kill the, uh, the most people. In Tibet, the only thing is, Jess is a hippopotamus. A hippo who lives in a house with a game warden and his wife. She's hand fed and sleeps on the porch, so it's no wonder she weighs a thousand kilos. But Jessica has an identity problem. Hippos are extremely aggressive and unpredictable mm. and kill more people than any other animal in Africa. Mm. So here's mm. Jamie Jury with the homely hippo confounding all the experts. Jessica is a very special lady. Oh, I love and this is an extraordinary bond that defies belief. Possible love story between a hippopotamus and the woman who raised her. Jessica loves me to bits and she sees me as her natural mother. She's very humble, very gentle and sincere. She's just one big bundle of love. That is Jess. Jessica is unique. She's the only hippo in the whole world that is tame that is free, but she chooses to live with people. Jessica wanders off to the wild hippos and she comes back. She sleeps in the veranda here at night. She comes into the house. She, she's more human than any other animal I've, I've raised before. Is that Jessica over there? Oh, you are joking. I'm meeting Jessica over a morning cuppa. Weak black tea with a few spoonfuls of sugar. Look at her, she's beautiful. This is Jess. Ah, yes, this is Jamie. Hi, Jess. She, she is Jess. incredible. Yeah. Her nose is like rubber. I can't believe the noise is coming out of this. She's just a nose. And the air she swallows, you will see a flocking just now. Is that right? And then she's going to do it from front and behind. And the man's going to give her a quick kiss. OK, OK. I'm a pretty good one. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> I can't believe I just kissed a hippo. <laughs> Tony lives on the edge of the Kruger National Park in South Africa. During a flood almost 10 years ago, Jessica washed on to Tony's backyard. She weighed 16 kilos. I was standing there on the veranda when I looked down, I was looking at the debris. And suddenly I saw this movement and I realized, but it's a baby hippo. She was lying there grunting. She couldn't stand up. Her umbilical cord was still attached to her. Mm. And seeing her size, I knew immediately she was uh, uh, prematurely born. Mm. And you took her inside. Why? I mean, why not just let her survive naturally? Well, she, she would have died. This river is infested with crocodiles. You know, last year we lost 12 dogs to coxies. So Jessica had no chance of survival whatsoever. Tony introduced baby Jessica to his partner Shirley. Someone say it's brought you two together, you and Tony. Yes, uh, uh, definitely did. Um, I met Tony and then I met Jessica. And when I actually met Jessica, I decided I will marry Tony. <laughs> <laughs> together, they hand raised the baby hippo. That Jessica survived is a miracle. The relationship that grew between the hippo and her adopted mum and dad is one of a kind. It contributed to bring us together, Jessica, yeah. We are one big happy family. All you do is you come down, you touch her nose, and just place it in there. I'll tell you what, 
it's, it's very surreal. It's almost like feeding a dinosaur. Well, we feed about 80 kilograms a day. 80 kilograms a day? That's it. That's more than me every day. And more of you out every day than that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's jaws are terrifying. The tusks are like razor-sharp daggers. Well, with a mouth that big, you definitely don't want to get your arm caught. The reason hand-feeding a hippo is so bizarre, so surreal, is that in Africa, hippos kill more people than any other wild animal. This enormous bottom jaw with the tusks protruding from it is what does all the damage. The way these tusks come up and grind on the top ones, it keeps these razor-sharp. It's a killing machine. These two were taken from a wounded hippo that attacked and killed a man. Africa's big five. Lion, water buffalo, leopard, elephant and rhino all attack people. But in this extremely dangerous environment, the hippopotamus is man's biggest threat. They're extremely territorial, very aggressive and completely unpredictable. They rule the water and the water's edge. Your feet slightly in the water. With both feet. Yep. Put on her back. Jessica is free to come and go as she pleases. She keeps one foot in the human world and the other in the wild. She's so beautiful. That makes her truly unique. She goes down to the wild hippos about two kilometers from here. She lies amongst them and she comes back and then she goes grazing with them. So she's not in captivity. Jessica's definitely not in captivity. Is she wild? She behaves like a wild hippo. Should. But she also got a soft side towards humans. Jessica even does chores around the house. Mowing the lawn. <laughs> and pruning trees. She's house trained. Up to a point. Hello, darling. Over the years, Hello. Jessica has broken dozens of doors, crushed sofas, and flattened tables. She's come to the kitchen for a feed, right? Oh, definitely. Just, just like most kids. The kitchen bench is reinforced. The big girl chomps through a bag of spinach in no time. Then it's onto another 20 kilos of sweet corn. You know you're nuts, don't you? <laughs> She's broken two beds, hasn't she? Five. What? She broke five beds? Yes. And you haven't kicked her out of the house? Never ever, I won't. Why's my little key? Tony talks to Jessica in Afrikaan. <laughs> she responds in hippo. Caring for Jessica has had a profound impact on the former ranger and professional hunter. He would often shoot herds of starving animals, including hippos. His biggest cull was in Zambia. They would have died of hunger eventually. How many hippos? Any hippos. <laughs> and you want to tell us? Uh, 1,700. 1,700. Tony used to do as a game ranger culling and um. after Jessica he could never ever do it again. Mm. She taught him much better values in life. Mm. He is a changed man, most definitely. There are changes ahead for Jessica too. She's now old enough to mate with a wild hippo. A baby is possible by the end of the year. I'll be here. I'll be with her, whether day or night, in the bush or in the river. I'm going to stand behind her and I'm going to catch that cough. You'll be a grandpa. I'll be a grandpa, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows whether becoming a mum will turn Jessica wild. Even now, we're warned to be cautious if she moves too close. And I'm getting a little too close, I think. <laughs> Wild animals, can they be domesticated? Sure, for a while. I just don't want to be around when they revert to time. Does he get excited when he sees that? Love it, love it. You think it's underneath, yeah? Mm-hmm. She is 
You can stand there with the camera. Okay. You can, you can, I'll show you what you do. I'm sitting on the right position, right? Oh, that's it. My goodness, is huge. Yeah, you come from behind. You stop here. Don't talk to her. Relax. Like this. Right here. Like that one. You must feel the lips. Yeah. Not like that. Like this. You must put your hand. Babe, nice the experience is to Why feel the lips. Relax. I'm scared of doing it. Relax. Relax. Just your I'm a Nothing will ever happen. Just relax. Here, one more. There you go. Take the camera there. Some of them. 1.6 times. Ready? Wow. Hello, sir. You should only allow ladies. Really? You gotta kiss on them. I would love to, but the way I'm just so scared. You're a fright, one. Yeah, it's really fun. This is a little bit of a Like this, right? Mm. Put this on. That one's on. Put it once. Put it once. Put it once. Put your hand. Just relax. Don't tease it. Put it in. Put it inside. <laughs> <laughs> you are teasing. Touch your vein once. She must come forward. Touch. 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 Okay. Enough. Thank you. Just for your experience. It's more slippery. <laughs> mm. Look how big I am. You see? Wow. <laughs> it's heavy. How heavy is this? <laughs> it's very heavy. It's just at the bottom door. How many tons is it? I think it's about 20, 15 kilos. <laughs> hmm. I would lose weight. Is this worth something? Yeah, it's not ivory. Mm -hmm. That is ivory there in the money. This one.
just had the best experience of my life today like it was so amazing like wow <laughs> wow i have so much to tell you guys like yeah it was it was a lot it was a lot going on but yo like there was the best experience of my life like we enjoyed ourselves so much we can't stop talking about that experience like it was out of this world like amazing so we're having brunch actually breakfast is done the menu for breakfast is done so we're having lunch and then uh, we're gonna go back to our house <laughs> And then we're gonna get ready for the boat cruise. So we are so famished, so we're just gonna eat right now and then check you guys there. Hi guys, fit for the boat cruise. Dress from Shein, shoes from Shein, earrings from downtown, um, bracelets from Shein, hair from Beauty Clinic in Pretoria Central. Um, it's a bob, it's like a sleek bob, but yeah, whatever. So I just wanted to show you guys, I'm wearing orangish. Post some pictures on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Ciao. Ciao.
Can everyone see it? are done with the boat cruise thing I'm a Bobsy. please don't mind my babe like I had to keep my head safe <laughs> so we are going to go and freshen up for dinner dinner is at half to six we've got a reservation for fine dining at one of the best hotels um, or should I say the best restaurant here in Woodsbrook um, so yeah until then let's go get ready and look like a million bucks so it's i think i booked like a three or four course meal i don't remember but wow i did i enjoy that that was so amazing <gasps> i would do it again i would definitely do it again and i will link the details below if you're interested in actually booking with this company it is so good i enjoyed it so, see you guys later. Ciao. Hi guys, it's dinner time. We are ready to go and have dinner. I will show you the outfit when I get there because we're so late, like we're like an hour behind. But we are on our way there. We are dining at, fine dining at Kaya Nglovu Safari Manor. And it's a fine dining restaurant. So we are on our way there. We are so late because I had to look pretty. But yeah, I'm on my way. I've got my heels here, but we are on it. No taste. Happy birthday, happy birthday.